today on MTG Unpacked, we're cracking a nice variety of packs for patrons. We have two packs of Theros, two Journey into Nets, two War of the Spark, and two Core 2020. So without further ado, let's introduce the patrons. We have Daniel E. Coop, Tony Siriani, and finally Amzai Bros. Okay, so let's organize things here. So the Theros and Journey into Nyx goes to Daniel. Tony gets the two packs of War of the Spark and Amzai Bros gets the Core 2020. So let's see how we do today. We've got two packs of each set. Leave your predictions in the comments which one you think we will get the craziest pulls. All right, so let's get started here. Daniel, thank you for being a patron. And the patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck. Let's boost the lighting a little. Sometimes the playmats change the lighting here. We have Cavalry Pegasus, Loathsome Katurbalpa, I think that's how you say it. Nylea's Presence, Fleet Feather Sandals, Boulderfall, Sedge Scorpion, Spearpoint Oread, Breaching Hippocamp, Volpine Goliath, Asphodel Wanderer, and Uncommon's Glare of Heresy. Nemesis of Mortals, Nylea's Emissary, and the rare is Mistcutter Hydra, yes! Creature Hydra, 0, zero for X and a green. So Mistcutter Hydra can't be counted, it has haste, protection from blue, and it enters the battlefield with X plus one, plus one counters on it. Any Hydra fans out there, leave a note in the comments. Do you have a Hydra deck in EDH or some other format? And we get a Swamp. And a boar token, okay. And I have to put that boar token in as well because that is just hilarious. Okay, journey into Nyx up next. So hoping for some god pulls out of these. We have Font of Fortunes, Sigiled Skink, Ajani's Presence, Golden Hind, Feast of Dreams, Cloaked Siren, Satyr Grove Dancer, Flurry of Horns, Dreadbringer Lampads, and Uncommon Spite of Mogus. A Crow and Line Breaker, Storm Chaser Chimera, and the rare is Spawn of Thraxes, Creature Dragon, 5-5 five, five for 7, yes! With flying when it enters battlefield, it deals damage to target creature or player equal to the number of mountains you control, that's fun. Alright, and you also get a foil, Glutinous Cyclops, eating a bit of popcorn, or what passes for popcorn for Cyclops, Giants, and a Swamp, and a Minotaur token. Alright, on to Theros. Anyone excited about Theros Beyond Death? Any uh, spoilers you've seen so far that have caught your eye? Leave a note in the comments. Okay, next we have Chosen by Heliod. Ferris Band Centaurs, Nylea's Presence, Minotaur Skull Cleaver, Sedge Scorpion, Scholar of Athreos, Two Headed Cerberus, because two heads on your hound are better than one, Time to Feed, Asphodel Wanderer again, Breaching Hippocamp, Uncommon's Karametra's Acolyte, Perforos's Emissary, Favoured Hoplite, and the rare is Chained to the Rocks, Enchantment Aura, Enchant Mountain you control. Uh, when Chained to the Rocks enters the battlefield, it's our target creature and opponent controls until Chained to the Rocks leaves the battlefield. Nice. So that is a cool one and a mountain. There we are, the mountain we need and a harpy token. Put the harpy in as well. I think that's some cool artwork there. Final pack here for Daniel. Journey into Nyx. What is your favorite Theros god in the set? So we had, I think there's 15 altogether in that whole block. So definitely some are better than others, but let me know in the comments which one you think. Next we have Nature's Panoply Nyx Infusion. God Hunter Octopus, check it out. Isn't that the coolest octopus you've seen? Sigiled Skink Font of Vigor. Crufix's Insight, Flurry of Horns, Thassa's Devourer, Gluttonous Cyclops, there he is again, Sigiled Starfish, and Uncommon's Nessian Game Warden, Kiora's Dismissal, Reviving Melody, 
And the rare is Daring Thief. Creature human rogue, 2-3 three for 3. So it has inspired whenever Daring Thief becomes untapped, you may exchange control of target non-land permanent you control and target permanent and opponent controls that shares a card type with it. All right. And an island and a bit about limited. Okay. So there we are. Thank you for being a patron, Daniel. Let's pop these in here and move on. Okay, what are we going to do next? Let's go for War of the Spark for Tony. All right. Thank you for being a patron, Tony. Let's get stuck into it. I wonder if we'll get some more goblins to add to your Chain Whirler collection. We have Martyr for the Cause, Contentious Plan, Dusk Mantle Operative, Forced Landing. And actually, are there goblins in this set? I'm trying to remember. I'm not sure about that. Thunder Drake, Charm Stray, Vraska's Finisher, Heartfire, Pollen Bright Druid, Guild Globe, and Uncommon's Bond of Passion. Into Planar Beacon, Tyrant Scorn, and a Mythic! Yes! Nicol Bolas, Dragon God, Fantastic Pull. Legendary Planeswalker Bolas for loyalty for, what is that, five mana? Nicol Bolas, Dragon God, has all loyalty abilities of all other Planeswalkers on the battlefield. Nice! Is plus one, you draw a card, each opponent exiles a card from their hand or a permanent they control. Minus three, destroy a target creature or planeswalker. Minus eight, each opponent who doesn't control a legendary creature or planeswalker loses the game. What do you think of this one? Has this won you a bunch of games? Leave a note in the comments. Okay, so there we are. Tony off to a great start. A forest and a zombie army token. Okay, second pack here. See if we can get another mythic to go along with Mr. Bolas. Alright, we have Contentious Plan, Summit Sprint, Charity Extractor, Primordial Worm, Erratic Visionary, Guild Globe, Chandra's Parahelix, Unlikely Aid, Wanderer's Strike, Heartfire, Uncommon's Bond of Passion, Mo Loyal Companion, Price of Betrayal, and Rare! Oh, seriously! Tony! Whoa! Teferi Time Raveler! Legendary Planeswalker Teferi, 4 loyalty for 3. I think he's cleaned out the box now of all the good stuff. Each opponent can cast spells only any time they can cast sorcery. Here's plus 1. To your next turn you may cast sorcery spells as though they had flash minus 3. Return up to 1 target artifact creature or enchantment to its owner's hand. Draw a card. Fantastic pulls today and a mountain and a zombie army. Alright, so I think War of the Spark was a great choice for Tony. So there we are. No goblins, but I think you're going to be happy just the same. Okay, finally here, Amzai Bros. Thank you for being a patron. Let's get stuck into Core 2020. It's going to be pretty hard to beat Tony's pools there. We have Kelden Raider, Angelic Gift, Fortress Crab, Goblin Bird Grabber, Creature Goblin 2-1 for 2. Very nice. Feathered Fleet Cutthroat. Ferocious Pup, Audacious Thief, Wolfkin Bond, Undead Servant, Boreal Elemental, and Uncommon's Pattern Matcher, Thought Distortion. This can sometimes happen if you don't get the crazy pulls. Corpse Knight, not the misprint, so it's just a regular Corpse Knight. And rare is Safara Sky's Blade, Legendary Creature Angel 7747 Mana from M20. You may pay a white and tap four untapped creatures you control with flying rather than pay the spell's mana cost. There's flying and lifelink. Other creatures you control with flying have indestructible. Nice. And a tranquil cove and a zombie tokens. And incidentally, angels are the theme for the chaos boxes this month. So you may have seen some of those. Very cool foils there and a bunch of other nice pulls. Okay, final pack here. We have Frilled Sea Serpent, Act of Treason, Inspiring Captain, Anticipate, Feral Invocation, Duress, Wolfkin Bond, Boreal Elemental, Rabid Bite, and Uncommons, Empyrean Eagle, Wolf Rider's Saddle, Overgrowth Elemental, and Rare is Knight of the Ebon Legion. Another great pull. 
Creature Vampire Knight, 1-2 for a single black. So you pay 2 and a black. Knight of Avon Legion gets plus 3, plus 3 and gains death touch until end of turn. At the beginning of your end, step if a player lost 4 or more life this turn. Put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on Knight of the Ebon Legion. Very nice. And you also get a foil, Apostle of Purifying Light. Nice foiling on that one. And a Plains and a Soldier Token. Alright, so there we go, Anzai Bros. Thank you for being a patron. We'll set these aside. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and have a great day.